Right. So do you anticipate this thing in um, October is going to be large? I don't. I, I think it will be important, and I think it will be big, and I think many, many thousands of people will come. Um, marching is not what it used to be. I mean, we go to march on Washington, but we're it's not levitating done. the Pentagon yeah. in, like, 68. Right. Right. It's been done, and it doesn't it's have been the same shock It doesn't value. have the same, same shock value. That's even true, people protesting a war that's going on, which yeah. would have been unheard of. Yeah. Even during the Vietnam War, it was, it was bound to get you attacked by the police. Now... They even let the, that's even yeah. expected. Oh yeah, well the, now you're working with the police. It's right. not, yeah. it's yeah. not yeah. so the most radical right. 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 But it is important to take to the streets. This is America. It is important about assembling. Mm -hmm. It's in the Constitution, right to assemble, to come together and express our opinions. So I think that, you know, it's not so much the quantity of number, although that is important if we can get a million people. But, you know, we just had a million people in the streets for gay pride. 20 million people in June across the country. It didn't even make the front page. So it's not about the numbers. It's about the quality of the message. I, I, we have Kentucky. I wanted to stop at Kansas. Oh, yeah. You know, it was right back. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was good. Well, whatever. Okay, okay, we'll okay. catch it around okay, next right, time. Okay. But uh, I think it's fascinating that you would have Kansas up there considering what just happened just, the, uh, just a few weeks ago. But, um, okay, enough. We were interesting all politics, gay lesbian politics. Let's talk about flags, because okay, you mentioned flags. flags. Yeah. And we have a few minutes left, and flags are just, you're right. A passing oh, and subject. one more They're thing beautiful. about oh, the demonstration, ahead. though. Is there a place people can find out? Yeah, everybody should go to nationalequalitymarch.org. We should put it up. Nationalequalitymarch.org or equalityacrossamerica.org. Mm -hmm. You can Google it. There's... You'll 27 million yeah. things as of this morning. Mm -hmm. You go there, you sign up, you'll get all the information. Sure. There's updates daily. We're asking people to send in their little video clips about uh -huh. what, why they're for equality. To, oh, good. Right. You know, so it's, it's a bit interactive, and we're trying to you know, build right. interest. It, it's going to be, you know, like I said, it'll be an interesting thing. We have not had a big gay march, a protest march since uh, 2000. And this is really different than that one was kind of corporate sponsored and, you know, a big festival. Right. We don't have corporate sponsors. We're not doing that. This isn't Jumbotrons and, you know, Gay Pride Palooza. It's really focused <laughs> to be a political march with a political message and a very... Dot org? Very, yeah, dot org or com, either one. A very directed message, com. too. Yeah, it's specific. really great. It's really important that we have, a, you know, something that we can all agree on. I think people want to get caught up in process and we have to have a, a laundry list of all of our demands, you know. And, and every one of those demands is probably important. Maybe none is more important than the next. But what happens when you have 50 demands is it becomes meaningless. Right, people we have don't one demand, it. full equality. I like that. Too. Every one of the other demands can plug into that. So we're asking people to kind of, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, get with a, a slightly different program. I mean, I, we've been criticized for being top down, you know, that this is just a bunch of people doing it and we, you know, we're not an organization. And, you know, okay. that's how it happens. Right. Yeah, okay, <laughs> a bunch right. Of people exactly. do it. Top, I have a top. So, you know, <laughs> get versatile. Because if that's how you change things. And, you know, if we sit around waiting for a process, it's like waiting for the president of the right. Supreme Court of the Congress. Right. It will never happen. Well, right there on the screen, you can see the uh, web address to get more information. Yeah, at National please go. Org. Now about flags. Yes, let's talk about flags. Vexillography. Putting our flags up. Uh, Say it again. Vexillography. Vexillography. V e x i l l o g r a p h y. Like photography, we have vexillography, and vexillography or a vexillophile or vexillographer, as I would be called. Mm -hmm. It comes from the Latin word vex. Vex was the symbol with the eagle thing on oh. it that the Romans would carry. Okay. And that's where it comes from. I see. Now, I, I, to me, it's very fascinating, the colors. Now, are, are all these colors, <laughs> we're looking at the colors of the rainbow that you've chosen to represent the rainbow, all these yeah, United rainbow. States flags that we're watching yes. behind us. Washington. Uh, and can you tell us, are these actual flag colors that are used in flags around the world? There's a palette of colors that are used in flags. It must be maybe, not that many, really, ultimately maybe 20. I mean, you have to think about flags being... What is being flag eight. fabric, anyway? It's called bunt... Uh, the fabric that makes a flag is called the bunting. Okay. Usually we think of bunting as, as kind of... Right. Thing, but right. bunting is what makes a flag, and, and flag bunting comes mm -hmm. in a palette of oh, 20 sure. or so colors. I mean, I had to get them finally to include pink, you know, yeah. but, you know... 
And then flags <laughs> evolve, but you have to remember that flags are ancient, that they go back thousands of years. Right. And Pink isn't that? exactly a flag it's a, color. It's, a, it's not, but it's in our flag. Is it because it's not masculine? Were the flag colors when you first came upon vexillography, <laughs> were they like extremely blue, hot cheese? A lot of blue and red and, you know, all the... All the right. But, but, yeah, but Very the national flags, and, and, yeah. and then there's sort of sets of flags. If you look at the flags of Africa, for instance, there's a common theme of colors. Mm -hmm. There's a common theme through Islamic countries. There's In a Europe common too. theme. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so there are themes mm -hmm. and sets. Red, white, and blue for countries that followed the French Revolution. Well, whatever. Yeah. But flags are really <laughs> ancient, and when you look at the, the way that flags were made yeah. over the long course of, of time, you have to remember that, you know, they call me the Betsy Ross, and I'm very flattered. Betsy Ross lived in, of course, the 1770s. The sewing machine was not invented until after she died. Oh, poor so, Betsy. Right. And all the other <laughs> Betsy Rosses that lived for the thousands of years before that. Hand literally, stitching. Right, stitching. <laughs> hands, one all stitch. The flags all the flags. All the flags. So flags took on a very simplistic graphic nature and then also there's a very important nautical component to flags where it's just something you put on your boat and it was a way to signal and you would sure, you know, still identify is. it's a yeah. form of communication right. and so you didn't want it to be too complicated you wanted to be able to instantly identify you know the colors what is that thing called that boy scouts do with flags the signaling. Semaphore. Semaphore. That semaphore. Semaphore. Called? Semaphore. Yeah. Right, that's signaling. And it's another form of another communication. Thing, right. Right. You could use it's kind of like an alphabet. Right. And there are alphabets of flags. For and in ancient times, they would build, they would actually put fires on hilltops, and each <laughs> fire would be seen by the next one. <laughs> down and right. They would be able to But not burning a flag. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, what about, right, has anybody ever burned the rainbow flag? Sure. Who's done that? Oh, it's <laughs> happened several times. Oh, really? And I, I mean, saw it happen in a fashion like show. Like anarchists gave me only just <laughs> one until I showed that no flag should... Right, exactly. No, it was mostly other, more left-wing people doing it. Oh, uh, completely. I mean, and I've seen the right-wing do we it, We will too. not be under any flag. Oh, yeah. oh no, I've seen yeah. the right-wing trample it. I mean, you know, I've seen the uh -huh. But that's what makes flags interesting, is that they're not just... They they're not it. just art. They're what did you feel in your heart? It's an active you object in a lot of Well, it's of an flags. action. When you put a yeah, flag up, like they're saying flowing something. And, you know. Well, how did you feel about that? I mean, the, well, most Americans... I felt when validated. They see, <laughs> it's it's <laughs> <not> like, <laughs> most Americans, when they see an American flag, are, are beat deeply hurt. They're, you know, it was against law. It was a federal offense for a long time. It wasn't until the late 1980s that it became legal to burn an American flag. Well, you cannot desecrate a flag. That is still illegal. Well, you can't. No, you cannot. What's you the difference can bur between burning it and desecrating it? Intention. Oh. If you say I'm going to burn this flag because I have the, because I'm protesting a war, or I'm burning this flag because I'm protesting a policy, or I'm, I'm going to burn this flag because of my right to free speech, that is permitted. Thank you, Supreme Court. If you burn the flag because I want to desecrate the flag, <coughs> guess what? That's not. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I was there when that, by the way, when that case uh, was the launched. Important case. I was standing there in Dallas, Texas, next to it. <coughs> we don't no really see who did. that too much anymore. I mean, we see that often more in other countries mm -hmm. where they're, especially during the war, right, we would right. see over and over again where they would burn an effigy often or the flag right, often. Right. But so you know what I'm getting at is has the flag, when you put a flag onto a movement and that flag becomes symbolic, then it also becomes a symbolic target for those who would sure. hate. Absolutely. Of course, yeah. We've never really talked about sure. that. You know. Well, I mean, you know, there are many, many instances. I mean, just recently there was a raid on... Uh, Fort Worth, Texas, on the Rainbow Lounge, a gay bar, and they I broke in. It was, kind of, it was on Stonewall. It was on the day of Stonewall. Right. And you know, there are many instances. You people put a rainbow flag up on their house, and they get vandalized. You put a sticker yeah. on your car. Yeah, it's an action. You put a flag up, you're saying something. You wear right. a flag, you're, you're it's the a rainbow flag. Yeah. In, in, right. With this particular case, now we only are saying something. We have a minute left. Uh, you know, there's so much I wanted to ask you because I wanted to get into the whole issue of uh, of. Uh, the flag and its symbolism, but let's go back a moment and use our last few seconds to talk about the uh, actions that are coming up yeah. in the next uh, few days. Tomorrow. Well, there's every every day is an action, and if if you're living mm -hmm. like I live, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and everyone should act every day. I mean, everyone should find a way to plug in their craft, their mind, whatever you can do to move our case forward, big or small, it doesn't matter. It's all moving it forward. Right. Tomorrow, we're going to be, like I said, at the uh, gay congregation on Bethune mm -hmm. Street between uh, 10th and 11th down in the West Village to protest the murders of young gay people at the Gay Center in Tel Aviv. And then, of course, coming up... And that's at 7. 7 o'clock tomorrow. Everyone, please come. And then coming up in October, we're going to be marching in Washington, October 11th, 10th and the, the Columbus Day weekend. Thank you, Gilbert Baker. There's the, email, the uh, web address there on the screen. Yeah, national